Hey, I'm Whitney Hawthorne with Rose Gold Mama. Thanks for tuning in. If you like what you hear, don't forget to subscribe. You're going to hear a lot about cocktails, momming, self-care, family travel, and career advice. Again, don't forget to subscribe below. And you can also check out our blog, rosegoldmama.com, where you'll find advice on all of those categories, as well as a lot of free printables you can download to help make your days even better. Welcome to Rose Gold Mama. Today we're going to make a sidecar. It's a very simple three ingredient cocktail. It's also a classic. This is one of the best cocktails that you can have in the summer because it's easy to make, it's refined, it's sophisticated, and it's boozy. So slow sipping. So I'm going to tell you how to make what I believe to be a classic sidecar first, and then at the end we're going to do a few and ors to let you mix it up a little bit based on what you have at home. So with a classic sidecar, the three ingredients you're going to need are Cognac. Cognac is called Cognac because it comes from the region of Cognac in France. Grand Marnier, which is an orange flavored liqueur, and lemon juice. I don't have time to press lemons, so instead of using fresh lemon juice, which really is best, I use this bottled stuff by Santa Cruz Organic. Um, you can get it at Whole Foods, you can order it on Amazon, and it includes organic lemon juice. Nothing else. 100% juice. So to make this drink, we're going to talk about parts, which means you're going to do things in a ratio of one thing to the other. We're going to start with cognac, right? Always start with the liquor as your part. So I have here my very large shot glass and my shaker. If you don't have a cocktail shaker at home, that's fine. Use like a large Tupperware that has a lid on it. You can just pour it in there and shake it up. So a sidecar requires two parts cognac. So we're going to fill this guy up once and dump it in and twice that would be two. Oh, just enough and dump it in then we're going to use one part Grand Marnier so we're going to fill this guy up once and dump it in and lastly we need a half a part lemon juice. So shake this a little bit and fill it up about halfway. If you like your drink a little bit more tart, then you can go more than halfway. Dump that in. Bloop. And now we're gonna add ice. So a couple of handfuls of fresh ice. The more ice you use, the faster it chills. Um, and in a lot of ways, then the less water you actually get in the drink. These super boozy drinks like this, um, having a little, a little bit more water in the drink, you're not going to taste it. Um, all right, so then once you've got everything in here, you just shake. Shake maybe 20 to 30 times. You just kind of keep on shaking until you feel the container get really cold. The more you shake, the more the ice breaks up and a little bit of water gets in the drink. Again, there's nothing wrong with that. Um, in fact, it's kind of how the drink is designed. So now inside of here, we have our delicious sidecar. Take the top off and pour it in. Again, it's a boozy drink. There's plenty left in here. I'm not going to fill it up all the way because that might be a bit too much. Yeah, that's delicious. Okay, um, let's talk about some variations on this for you. If you don't have grandma at home, right? You're not a grandma girl, you don't have grandma at home, that's just fine. You can swap it out for my favorite mixer Cointreau very very delicious tasting as well um, if you don't actually have cognac then you can use brandy again cognac is called cognac because it's made in the cognac region of france brandy is essentially the same thing this is a liquor made from grapes the lemon juice unfortunately or as it turns out there is no substitute use fresh lemon juice the one thing I will say is if you like your drink a little sweeter, feel free to add a teaspoon or two of sugar um, before you shake it up. That way you're going to get your nice sweet drink um, for you to enjoy at the taste again that you like. Well, that's it. This I think should really be on the rotation when you're having friends over. You can go ahead, have cocktail hour, put on a record with some 1950s music and serve it on up. You're going to look super sophisticated. They're going to think you're so refined and only you are going to know how easy it was to make. 